Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you how you can create your very own iPod Touch or iPhone in Photoshop. CS4, CS3, whatever you have. So first of all, you want to go up to File, New, name it iPod Touch or iPhone. I'm going to name it iPod Touch. And make sure the width is 800, the height 1024 pixels and all the other settings are set to the default options. Then once you've done that, click OK. And then you should get something like this, which opens up in a new document. First of all, unlock the background layer. Now you may not want to do this, however, it is necessary and uh, I think it is quite a good thing to do when you start off any document that you do in Photoshop. So I'm just going to make it invisible for now. And then you want to go over to your rectangular marquee tool. And now we're just going to make the background of the iPhone. So we're going to select the first option, make sure the feather is 0 pixels, and just leave two blocks diagonally from the corners. So leave one here, leave one here, and just start from this bottom right corner here of that box. And then make it perfect, and just drag it down, and make it pretty much uh, symmetrical lengthways and uh, that should be alright and then go to refine edge right, make a new layer first layer 1 then go to refine edge make sure it's set to these settings so radius 0, 0.0 contrast 100% smooth 52 feather 0, 0.0 and contrast expand 0 so make sure that smooth is 52 that's the, really the main one all the others are pretty much default I think then click OK and then you want to fill this with the color that I show you now, which is 2E, 2E, 2E. This is the color that you'll need. And just fill it in, and that's your background. Then, without hitting Control D, without uh, deselecting, you want to make a new layer, and then fill it with um, this color, E1, E1, E1. Just fill it, and this will simply make it the same shape on top because we still have that selection then you want to go to your move tool on layer 2 that we've just filled with um, that color there and then just make it like your screen don't make it too thin as uh, pretty funnily uh, pretty amusingly it will look like the iPad so if you put it pretty much thin like that it reminds you of the iPad and uh, that's not really what you're going for however this gives you again a little uh, option to make it look like an iPad since the iPod touch looks like the iPad you know pretty much the whole thing looks like an, uh, an iPod touch so it's all good and uh, once you've got it something like this make sure the top also isn't filled right to the top because normally there's a bit of space here and also at the bottom that's where you have your little circle thing so just keep it like this click uh, the tick and then go to the move tool and just make it somewhere in the middle around here that's all right okay so once you've done that you want to hit control D to deselect all so that's when we deselect all now and then you want to go to the elliptical marquee tool make a new layer and just make a circle like this and then you want to fill it in with the 2e 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 so what I've just done is just switch them around bucket fill it simply like that and you may want to make it a bit more circular like that and uh, then you want to move move it down and before you before you move all the way just keep it a little bit like that right click go to blending options go over to stroke and then go to the color make this d1 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 click OK click OK then move it down this will give it a nice outline then just make it perfectly smaller like this put it in the center make it a little bit bigger make sure you keep the circle shape don't mess it up oops let me just put it somewhere in the middle that's, that's right let's move it up to my keyboard and uh, there you go that looks all right satisfactory and a little bit more okay and then 
and make another new layer and this one is with the rectangular marquee tool and I recommend that you zoom in to make it 100% now if you have a big resolution this will be a bit slightly different to you uh, but if you do have resolution around the laptop size around 1280 by 720 then this is going to be the same as how I do it so you just zoom into 100% make a square try and do it perfectly mine's not perfect but it's okay and uh, make something like that you want to fill it again with uh, this E1, 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 so just swap them over again. Fill it in. Go to the rectangular marquee tool again. Go to subtract. Actually, I've got to do one thing. So, what you do what you do now is hit Control alt z so that's when you go backwards. So, Control alt z Go back to here, so before we bucket filled it, go to refine edge go to these options that you've had set from when you made the background click OK and then fill it with uh, E1, E1, E1 just fill it and then go to the rectangular marquee tool again subtract and just put it around here making a circle, making a square inside the square go to refine edge all the options are already there for you and then go to select inverse go to the magic eraser tool hit the the center bit and bang it's gone now go to the move tool make this much smaller and just oops that was bad let's move it right to the middle of that circle and there's the circle bit wait let me just move this a bit here yeah that's all right and uh, there you go that's pretty much the basic outline of it. Now, there's a few other little touches that you may want to do. It's just really extra. So go to your background layer, which is called layer one. Go to blending options, and then go to stroke. Once you've got stroke, you want to go over, over, go over to color, and then select the color as D1, D1, D1. Click OK. Click OK here, and uh, once you make a new group, name it iPhone or iPod Touch, whatever. So, iPod Touch, and put every single layer into here. And uh, you may, may want to do one thing before you do this, actually. Go uh, go and select layer 3, which is that circle here. circle that we made around there. And we just added a stroke, so you'll see it. Uh, because it does have a stroke. And then go to the Magic One tool. Select it. Go to the elliptical marquee tool subtract to should be already there and then just do something like this make a new layer put it on top of layer 5 just in case you haven't uh, bucket fill this with white total white go to the arrow here this little box here and go to soft light uh, hit control D to deselect all and just close your iPod Touch uh, group and there you go and if you haven't deleted layer 0 you might as well do that now and uh, that's pretty much it, oh there's one more thing that you can do so make a new layer not two, just one um, on top of the iPod Touch group and uh, you wanna zoom out go to the elliptical marquee tool and make a giant sort of uh, selection there and then go to the paint bucket tool total white and make it soft light and yes that doesn't look perfect I know so what you need to do is go to the iPod touch layer or group iPod touch group select the background layer layer 1 go to the magic wand tool select it select inverse close the iPod touch group select layer 6 magic eraser tool bang it's gone and now you can go and save this and there's your perfect iPod touch very nice resolution uh, since we've made it quite a big size and now you can pretty much fit this on anything and it won't start um, blurring or pixelating so uh, thanks for watching and if you like this video please comment rate and subscribe and thanks again bye bye Cheating on the music though, sleeping with the microphone, traveling up the route to success.
And now I stunts again, encore Cause I can understand if they all want more 